Hey everyone, welcome back and today we will be doing another lead chord problem 594 longest harmonious subsequence an easy one we define a harmonious array as an array where the difference between its maximum value and its minimum value is exactly 1 given the integer array nums return the length of its longest harmonious subsequence among all of its possible subsequences Uh, a subsequence of an array is a sequence that can be derived from the array by deleting some or no elements without changing the order of the remaining elements so what we what we what they want us to do is to just return a harmonious subsequence basically a longest harmonious subsequence a harmonious subsequence as they have mentioned is a subsequence in which the maximum in an array and the minimum in an array should have only the difference of 1 so 3 and 2 this is the harmonious you can say array and we are given this list let me just write it here now we want to return the length of the longest harmonious subsequence so we can say 1 and 2 we can pick 1 and 2 so 1 is coming one time and 2 is coming three times so the length here is 4 we can just return the length of 4 but the length can increase can be increased like this 3 2 2 and now 3 itself so the length at this case will be 5 so we'll be returning 5 in that case and now in the second example we can either return the length of 1 2 or 3 4 this is the same so it doesn't matter and we cannot return 1 and 4 and same with 1 and 7 on 1 and 3 in these cases because the difference between the maximum of the return you can say no not the array we are going to return but the basically uh, harmonious subsequence is just minimum difference a uh, minimum value uh, difference with la longest value or you can say the largest value in the array will be 1 so now if we have the same elements 1 1 1 1 there is no minimum there is no you can say a greater element than the minimum then we will just return 0 in that case so that's it so first of all we will be making a map let me just okay a map so now we will have a count which will be 0 and for i in range till the length of nums nums what we want to do is just make a hash map of a count so if nums at i not present in our hash map which will be so what we will do we will just add it to our hash map so like map at nums at i is equal to 1 in the else case we know that it is present the value is present so what we will do is just increment the value by 1 okay now we are done and now we will be seeing this case if the length of the hash map if the length of the hash map which will be map is less than or equal to 1 meaning if there is no element or a single element then we will just return zero in that case now for i for every uh, you can say key in hash map what we want to do if see like if key plus 1 exist in the map and if it does we will just take the count so the count will be uh, the maximum of the count previously and the map at the certain key and also plus the key its uh, key next to it so key plus 1 and this looks good what we can do afterwards is just return the count yes we are going to return count and let's see if this works or not and this works that's it 